Good morning. It is a blessing to come to you again in this series of devotions or encouragement as we pray and fast as you tune into the voice of Jesus. Isn't it amazing when you think about it that God really, really desires to talk to me, to talk to you? It's actually his delight. He, he finds joy in revealing himself to us and revealing his mind through his voice to us. And I've been looking at various ways how God speaks to us. And one important area that God uses to speak to us is the area of our imagination. When I was growing, I had a preacher talk about it, and it, it was so strong that it was imprinted in my mind, and I always use that statement. That my mind is a center of communication between me and God. That statement has never left me. God uses my imagination to speak to me. But that can be confusing because when you think about my imagination, I would think, oh, man, what I'm thinking is what God tells me. No, that's not it. In today's thinking or in today's devotion, I'd like to call your attention to some of the ways God uses our imagination to speak to us. So he would use things like dreams. He could use a trance. He could use pictures. Or he could use inner visions. In Acts chapter 10 and verses 10 to 13, we see that Peter was in the upper room and he was hungry at that particular point. We think that he was fasting at that time. But he goes into this trance and he gets all these pictures and then hears a voice telling him this and gives him instruction based on those pictures. So today as you go on, do not ignore that your mind is a center of communication between you and God. Ask God to speak to you through pictures of the day or even pictures of the night, visions of the day or visions of the night. He is a gracious God. He wants to talk to you. God bless you.